Who am I? Maybe a better question is, what is it that defines me? Am I my flaws or am I my virtues? Am I both? If I'm both, then what's the difference between them? If I'm just the flaws, then what's wrong with the flaws? If I'm just the virtues, then do the flaws really matter? Am I my gender, my race, my hair color, my body type? What if I don't care about those things? Are they still important? Should I put more thought into them? Some people act like those things are the only things that matter, but it seems pretty boring to me to build my identity out of the parts of myself I don't have direct control over. Am I who I was born as or who I build myself into? Nature or nurture? Am I what I eat, what I watch on TV, what I read? Am I what I put into my mind or what comes out? And how much of what comes out was just put there by what I put in? Am I the words that I say, or am I just a parrot repeating what other people tell me? And if I pick and choose which ideas I allow into my head for me to repeat, am I censoring the ones I limit? Am I crazy? Maybe this video doesn't make any sense. If the video doesn't make any sense, what does that say about me? Does it mean that I don't make sense, or just that I'm bad at making videos? Or just that this one idea was a bad idea? Am I the things that I make, the ideas I have, or the ones I want to make but never get to? Am I my to-do list? Am I the things that I've done or the ones I haven't yet? Am I both? Am I defined by my good intentions that want to do something, or the guilt when I don't get to them? Am I the things I choose not to do? Am I defined by choices, or are my choices just indicative of what really defines me? And what about when I have no choice? Or is there always a choice? Am I defined by how I feel about things? If so, why do people mask their emotions? Am I the mask I put on or the thing underneath it? The thing I want to be or the thing I don't tell people about? Am I what people see or what I myself see? Or are we all just what God sees? And if so, what does God see? Does he see my fallen state or my true potential? Or does he just see whether or not Jesus saved me? What if God doesn't exist at all? I'm pretty sure he does, but for the sake of the video, let me follow the train of thought. If God isn't real, then do any of these questions even matter? Or do I get to choose what defines me myself? Is it all just subjective? Am I what I believe myself to be? Or am I what I believe about the rest of the world? Or maybe I'm defined by how I treat the rest of the world. Am I defined by my consistency, acting the same way as I believe? If so, then does it matter what I believe, as long as I'm consistent? If not, then what's the point of believing anything? But if I'm defined by what I believe, then what if I don't believe in anything? But I do believe in something, so what if what I believe is wrong? And I don't mean in a big way, like God not being real, what if God just isn't quite how I think he is? What if the rules just don't work quite the way I think they do? What if I believe the rules don't matter? What if it's all just about love? But what if love doesn't work the way I think it does? How do I know how to best love people? What if my beliefs about love actually get in the way of loving people? Am I what I love? Am I what I hate? Or am I the things I feel apathetic towards? Why are there things I don't care about? Why do I care about anything? Why do I care about these stupid questions? Maybe if I can figure out what part of me is most important, I can start improving that part first. Or maybe if the broken parts don't matter, I can ignore what's broken for a while longer. Maybe I'm just torn. If I don't know who I am, then when it's time to make decisions, what will I choose? Will it matter? Do my decisions even matter? Do I matter? Does anyone care who I am? Does it matter if anyone does? If someone asked me those questions, I would tell them that of course they matter, and that even if no one does, I care about them. Chances are, someone would say that to me, if I asked. Am I defined by the people I would say that to, or the people that would say it to me? Who am I? A weirdo with a bunch of YouTube channels, or a child of God? Am I both? If I'm both, then which do I prioritize? Or is there even a difference? 
If I'm either one and not the other, then I lack motivation to properly respond. Either I don't matter or I'll never be good enough. If I'm both, then God made me a weirdo for a reason, and I can make something that will glorify Him. I feel like that's actually kind of a weird thing to end the video on.